You've heard us say before how much we like the advanced engineering in the 2003 Ford Expedition. It's the first full-size SUV with an independent rear suspension, side curtain airbags linked to rollover sensors, and a powerful third seat just to hit the high hardwoods. But what's it like to live with every day? Well, so far, good. We're impressed with the Expedition's ride, handling, security, and cargo flexibility. It has good power, too. Our Eddie Bauer's 5.4-liter V8 is responsive, quiet, and has typical big ute fuel economy of 14 miles per gallon after four months and 9,600 miles. Since last report, we have noticed a whine from the rear differential. That's worse between 50 and 60 miles per hour. Ford is aware of the problem and is seeking a cure. As you are seeing this, we're on our way down south for winter testing, with the expedition carrying the bulk of our gear. We'll have another update when we return. Our so far nasty winter has been a good time to get used to this 2003 Subaru Baja crossover vehicle. While we expected the crew cab short cargo bed Baja to spend most of its time around town, it's proving to be a comfortable and with all-wheel drive secure highway cruiser. Still, given its 2.5 liter, 165 horsepower, four cylinder engine, fuel economy of 22.6 miles per gallon after 5,900 miles is a little underwhelming. It's about what we got with the last six cylinder Outback wagon we tested. The small rear cargo box and bed to interior pass through door do come in handy for weekend trips to both Home Depot and to winter sports spots. But this is no replacement for a real truck. Still, we think the Baja's mixture of car truck attributes blend together quite well. We'll see how well our Dodge Ram quad cab and our Nissan 350Z are blending with our staff on our next MotorWeek long-term road test update.